Payne College students are getting ready to shine with dreams of Harlem. John Beveridge and Professor Z. Wright joins me to share more about what you can expect. It's great to see you all again. It's Thank definitely you. great to see you again. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So it's been like a year now, right? Something yes, like it's, been a, it's been a year since okay. I've done a play. Um, but this time I have my students involved. I'm yeah. um, over the mass communications department. And the mass communications department is doing this fabulous play called Dreams of Harlem. Yeah. Uh, when I originally put out the casting call, I thought it was just going to be mass communication students, but so many students, they flooded to the audition. So we have students from all majors yeah. that are actually in this production. So what's your inspiration behind this production? Um, I want to teach about the history, African American history. Um, for instance, the, the main character, which is played by one of our students that, that's a senior in the acting workshop class that we have, he falls asleep and wakes up in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. And there he meets these iconic characters. He meets Langston Hughes, or Neil Hurston, Jesse Redmond Fawcett, and his main idol, Oscar Michoud. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is not just um, this is a regular play, but it's also part live theatrical performance and filmmaking as well. So yeah. with the monologues, which are extremely creative monologues, um, they're going to have this original music and also their own personality in different of the different characters. Yeah, so you did mention something about historical characters. So what type of research went into this to make sure it's as authentic as possible? A lot of research. Actually, uh, this was my MFA portfolio project mm. when I graduated. So, um, you know, of course, when you go through and, and get your degree, you have to um, do the research for the, you know. And so mine was actually, at that time, it wasn't called Dreams of Harlem, but um, this was my, my research project. So not only that, because so many students came out, we actually had to add some more monologues. Mm -hmm. So there was even more research done. And some of the students did research as well. And I did the research and you know, we just came up with so many marvelous characters. It's fantastic. Yeah, it wasn't exciting for you to see so many people wanted to be a part of it. I was so, I, honestly, I was just totally shocked because I was like, well, do we have someone, like what's going on on the campus? Yeah. And when all of these students just flooded the room and, and even afterwards, say, you know, we're emailing, uh, we have so much of a family atmosphere at mm -hmm. Payne. And I, I just started not too long ago. Yeah. So to see the camaraderie, and they encourage each other. It's like there's not one superstar. Everybody's working together to make this a fabulous production. Um, this play, Dreams of Harlem, we did six years ago. Mm -hmm. And we did it then, and the proceeds we made from it we gave to cancer research. Yeah. Um, and people talked about it so much that they begged us to do it again, so we did it three months later. Yes. And then there's been so much talk about it. Well, we, you know, we'd love to see this again, we'd love to see this again. So then when my wife got hired at Payne, we got to thinking, well, you know, this would be a great play to great do play. to That's raise funds fun. for Payne. Yeah. Absolutely. And at the same time, we started thinking, and she said, you know, we could use this and get all the other departments at the school involved and the students being playing these parts could also be learning history at the same time yes. and what's what's sweet about it is they don't actually realize that they're learning history yeah. they're having fun doing it and they're retaining because all this history stuff is boring right exactly <laughs> you know? so you've got the history department involved you've got the music department involved you've got art English, was amazing arts, everything you know, everybody's involved so and the tickets are on sale right now on Eventbrite. Eventbrite. You, you can purchase tickets at Payne College. Okay. Um, you can purchase them the day of the event. Now there are only 300 seats available. Mm -hmm. um, and tickets prices are $15. It's October 22nd. Uh, the time is from four to six. Four okay. to six. Well really it's an hour and a half. We just kind of given a little bit and of time. And if you're not familiar with the Hill Complex, it's actually the basketball arena. Uh, yeah. okay. So yes, mm -hmm. that will help people to find it. Sounds yes, definitely. And Eventbrite tickets, like I said, he was saying at the door. And also, you know, um, you can go to Payne and get tickets as well. Okay. Sounds good to me. 
Well, y'all, thank you for joining me. Thank I appreciate you so it. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Many blessings to you. Thank you. Blessings to y'all, too. Thank you. And we'll be right back.